Locating Primary Research 2. In this session, we are going to have some examples of uh, databases, um, some of the preliminary sources which we would be using in order to find relevant information, relevant latest research, and also to find some of uh, the answers to our research questions. Okay. Um, we have been discussing that um, allocating primary research is uh, an important tip uh, which must be known to research scholars. And we must also know that what are those databases, what are those, you know, um, preliminary sources which are relevant to our research topics, right? Um, like, for example, ERIC is uh, one of the, you know, uh, database uh, which is uh, mostly used for in, in educational researchers and also in research related to social sciences, ERIC, right? The Educational Research Information Center, and it's one of the mostly used, you know, um, um, database preliminary source. And we also um, would try to let you know that how would you uh, access JSTOR, right? Uh, because JSTOR is also one of the mostly used uh, database by uh, research scholars. And we are also going to have some practice on uh, Google Scholar, uh, which is uh, uh, a very, you know, actively used um, website database by research scholars. And uh, you can uh, not only access uh, some of the uh, research publications using uh, Google Scholar, but you can also maintain your own profile on, you can get registered on uh, Google Scholar as a research scholar. And then uh, you can also maintain your own publications, the record of your own publications on uh, Google Scholar, right? So uh, let's uh, go to, to have some, some examples and some practice on all these three uh, databases and preliminary sources. Dear students, this is the website, you know, eric.ed.gov. And we know that by Eric, we mean uh, Educational Research Information Center, right? So it's one of the mostly used, uh, you know, database or preliminary source, which can be explored and which can be used for our researchers. And you know that there are some pans on the left uh, which can give us the publication dates and also the number of publications which are there, like in 2019. So you see uh, how many publications are there. And even when these uh, statistics show uh, some of the relevant information regarding publications. Okay. And you can also uh, have some uh, a description, some sources. Uh, and there are some topics which are given, like uh, since you are the students of uh, ELT, English Language Teaching, you can use this uh, uh, source, preliminary source, uh, to the best of your application and for the maximum utility of your research work. Like English language teaching, uh, relevant uh, uh, publications are there, which are 1850. Then uh, there are some other like ELT journals. There are 486 ELT journals available on this uh, source, right? And then TESOL, teaching of English to the speakers of other languages, TESOL quarterly, right? A journal and these publications are 348. Right, foreign language annals, right? So these are some of the, you know, very important links which you would be using and then uh, you can also further explore to the best of your uh, use. And remember that there are some publications like this one, more than half a century teaching EFL in Colombian secondary schools, right? This article is available in full text and you can download this, right? So this is, you know, one of the um, mostly used uh, uh, resource by research scholars and you can use them, right? So just give me uh, this uh, tip, like uh, we can uh, try to explore uh, research publications on this topic. Uh, the topic I'm giving is teaching of English as foreign language, right? So if I just click this button, right? Uh, I would be able to see within a few seconds that how many of these publications are available, okay? So there are, you know, 151,000, and 180 results related to this topic. And it's a very general topic, teaching of English as a foreign language, right? It's a very, you know, uh, general topic. So we have a lot of publications available and you can explore them and you can decide that which one is the relevant one. You see, they're like, um, in, on this topic, uh, we have publications 738 in 2019. And then since 2018, 
So you see that this is one of the uh, frequently explored topic and we can use um, these uh, you know uh, resources in order to get information on our relevant topic and then in order to find uh, uh, answers to our research questions and you can delimit some of your you know um, um, search for uh, publications like you can click by hey, by this button peer reviewed only so you would only be now searching for those uh, publications which are peer reviewed peer reviewed means that those are reviewed by experts and then these experts are reviewing and considering them for publication right and you can also delimit this with by clicking full text available on eric so now by uh, having clicked this button uh, eric will give you only those publications which are available with full text so only links won't be shown right so if i click this then i would find that there are still 42968 publications available on my topic uh, which i can download with full text like this one right so you know it's a big uh, source and there are some tips also you can explore and you can learn these tips and there are some possibility for you to to use the advanced search button advanced search button like you would be delimiting your uh, search to to a time period and also to some of the topics relevant so it's a you know a, one of the wonderful uh, database which you would be using now let me just take you to jstor and briefly describe this to you this is jstor uh, www.jstor.org and the web page is there now you can uh, you know uh, give your input here right uh, journals primary sources and books are available on this if i give the same input like teaching of english as a foreign language right if i just give this topic and search for this through jstor i would be able to to know that uh, how much publications are there with jstor like um, 153935 uh, you know publications are available right and you can further explore you see so this is uh, another one of the wonderful one of the mostly used um, you know uh, database um, in order to to find relevant information and then in order to uh, to just uh, explore um, your research questions right and this uh, jstor also gives you information related to your publication like this one the teaching of english as a, as a modern foreign language right it's a journal article journal article means that it's published primarily in a journal research journal and that's the name of the journal college english and the volume number is 9 and the issue number is 6 and it was published in 1948 you see and then there are page numbers right similarly uh, these are you know the the points the topics which are covered within this article these are you know the keywords or the topics which are there and it is downloadable uh, through pdf right uh, maybe in this case since it is red and it does not show any uh, you know uh, able button so it is not available it's clear from here but some of these items are of course available you can save them you can cite them in your paper and you can further um, use as per your requirement uh dear students now let me take you to google scholar uh, which is uh, easily available from your own um, home and using your laptop or personal computer and it is one of the mostly used uh, you might have heard of this google scholar right it is one of the mostly used database so if i give the same input here just in order to let you know that how would you explore it right so the input is given and now google, google scholar is Uh, providing me with um 2000 and 360000 results okay uh, just imagine that this is uh, this much of uh, publications are available and you can also just uh, see the nature of it like it's the journal and it is available in html and some of them are only citations so this is only citation this one you cannot read from here but the first uh, reference which is available but you can 
uh, cite it from here. Like 1822 people have cited this reference from, from Google Scholar. And then this, the second one, this one, teaching English as a second or foreign language, it is available on HTML uh, form. You can read it. Like you cannot download it in, a, in PDF format, but you can read it online. And there are some of them which are available on PDF, but not on our first page. They may be somewhere on some other pages. But the tip is that you must be able to, to know and you must be able to use these preliminary sources for your own research. And uh, Google Scholar also tells you that which is the year of publication, like this is 2010, this is 1978. And it also gives you the preliminary source, like this one is given here by Eric, which we just uh, practiced. And then uh, it can also give you the idea about the nature of reference, which is available. Like this one is book, you see? So this is a book, right? It is written here. It is another book. This is another book. So some of them are articles, like this one is article, journal article, right? So you must be exploring these databases. You must be able to use these preliminary sources for finding research which is relevant to your own topic and in order to find research questions related to your research topics. Explore them, please.